Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 144 of The Tasteless Gentleman. We have a special guest this evening, Saving the Bees. What's up, what's up? Along with our usual suspects, Scoop. I'm here. And Dom. Yeah, it's truly, fuck you talking about. And Alex with the with the mannequin theme lighting. I need new lights, dude. I, all I have is a Tasteless Gentleman logo behind me. Hey, you don't need new lights. lights, man. I got new lights. We good. Dom doesn't want to be left out. <laughs> He's like, I don't fuck. give a fuck, nigga. Get lights, man. You can look like Mexico down there with Alex. Oh, are you, are you having a tough day, Dom? Are you a little testy today? Oh, no, no, no. We good, man. How you doing, all right, good. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I haven't, I haven't put on deodorant in about three weeks now. <laughs> There's I mean, no need. There's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like deodorant's not for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's for you. It's because I'm considerate. <laughs> it's like the masks. It's like not the, for me. It's for yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, Scoop, what do you got? Uh, any announcements this week? Uh, not so much. Uh, but we obviously t-shirts are going up all the time. Patreon still banging. I pr- do. People didn't really leave the Patreon, even though they're hurting financially. I can't thank you enough. It's crazy. Thank yeah, you. that's huge. It's crazy. Yeah. So yeah. like, I mean, it, to me, that's actually shocking. Because the second this happened, I canceled Netflix. I was on the <laughs> phone fucking doing chargebacks and shit. Hell yeah. You guys are better people than me. I can tell you that much. Yeah. Uh, I call Sirius XM. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, hey. Stop, 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 stop. Dom, did, you can- did you cancel your Sirius? Yeah, and they were trying to uh, talk me down to a little bit. Oh, like, Yo. dude, I- you could go on for days and keep knocking them lower and lower. I've done it. Yeah, <laughs> that was like, worse. No. I'm affected. I need this off my, my, my bell. I need this off. <laughs> there were, were yeah. They don't <laughs> want to uh, let you go. Through, yeah. So through the Patreon, we were able to hire. I mean, it sounds like a full time position or something. Anyway, we have a guy who does uh, video editing for us now. Not the main show. He just does the short clips. So those short clips are going up on YouTube. I'm trying to do one every single day. Uh, that's anywhere between like three and ten minutes. But. With that being said, that was you guys. That was the audience that made that happen. If we didn't have the Patreon, I wouldn't. I can't afford that. I like Chick Fil A. I don't have time. Yeah, 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 the money. Time that shit. <laughs> trying, we, I got my own bills. Dr- we have yeah. drug and hooker habits to support. Exactly. So Definitely. anyway, just wanted to like extra thank you guys and know that that was you. That wasn't some like we're not putting on the credit card. Like you guys are literally paying for that. So yeah. anyway, and, and he's in our Discord. So uh, I've tagged him a few times. So if you want something for him to edit. Uh, I think Native already sent something over for him to edit. He'll just do it. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm here for it. So anyway. And the clips are great. The clips are, I think they're fucking hilarious. They're funny, man. And he's yeah. doing those funny edits that we used to do yeah. back yeah. in the day. Yeah, they're yeah. super yeah. funny. Yeah, That yeah. shit is so time consuming. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if you do it, it's not time. If that's your thing, you know what I mean? Like you're good yeah, at it. So I, like, and I feel like yeah. you have the, the equipment to support that. Cause I've been trying to do that shit on a laptop and that shit is just yeah, and your shitty fucking 2012 MacBook. Yeah. My, 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 my Chromebook <laughs> isn't handling that. <laughs> hey, that, that fucking fan is just <laughs> shaking. It's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fan sounds like Cardi B screaming that. You know? <laughs> exactly. <Coronavirus>. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, Alex, is there, are there any updates with the t-shirt club? Uh, I got a bunch of the emails in, uh, so I'll be putting those uh, orders in pretty soon here. Just to make sure you get your orders in. That's pretty much it. Cool. Yeah, and the, the email there is on the Patreon, so don't send them to my personal Facebook. Don't send snail mail to Alex. You guys are wild with the messages. I'm like, how did you even get this email? It's like you I looking this, around. <laughs> like I gave this email just to my mom. <laughs> like, I got, I got, I got dudes knocking on my door. Like I know you're in there. Yes. Someone's knocking on your bathroom door. Like, like hey, where's my shirt order? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that, that, that's really it for the announcements um yeah that's it man let's fucking get into it uh what was the first thing you guys mentioned right before we started the, well we talked about there's a lot of shit the threesome where the guy pulled a gun oh, oh let's talk about that with earl yeah, yeah, thomas yeah. right alex yes. you know about that right i yeah. gotta look this up so Go uh earl thomas who plays safety for the uh ravens now right i believe um he his wife or girlfriend, I can't remember which which one it was. Um, they were in the middle of a fight, and he went out partying with his brother, and she got all pissed off and paranoid, and was logging into like his Snapchat How? and all kinds of other shit to find out <laughs> yeah. to find out where his location was, to so find out where he was at, and he was at like an Airbnb. So she goes into the she breaks into the house, and um, she finds his gun and then pulls it on him while 
him and his brother are tag teaming a chick. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Just let me <laughs> let, like, standing, let me make sure I'm getting this straight. Okay, so he she got the gun. Oh, so she got the location. She went to his house, broke in, and then got his gun. And with her friends or whoever solo goes to the Airbnb. So I, I'm I'm not sure if if he had the gun with him in the house at the Airbnb or whatever whatever they were at. Yeah. Or she went to the house and got his gun from there. So I don't know if he had his gun with him and it was just like in the house somewhere where they were at, or she took it from wherever it was stored. In, in there was house. a gun at the house and with him. That CTE hits different, bro. <laughs> they got guns everywhere. They're fucking reckless. But like, for real though, what are you doing? Tag teaming a chick with your brother. I mean, it's not why my not? thing, but why would you? Why not? What? I mean, sometimes things just run through the family. Exactly. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. Sometimes yeah. Happens. Some people sometimes got the family right. gun. Yeah. Some people got the family hoe. I mean, I mean <laughs> you got to keep the dollar black, dog. got to keep the dollar black. You're like three feet away from incest. That's true. I, mean, I mean, it depends on what position you're doing. You could be a half an inch away from incest. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if, if, you're, if, you're, if you're plugging both holes, doing double stuff, Exactly. You, you're talking about I mean, balls touching. I mean, it's it's it'll be gay if they both nut at the same time and then make <laughs> eye contact. Agree. Yeah. Agree. Yeah. So they'll have to, well, like, I mean, let's be real. Cancel gay. that out or some shit like pandas. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> I, some shit real quick. Gay, cool, whatever. But like your brother, come on. Like, would you really clap cheeks with with your brother, not Eskimo brother? Yes. With your yes. Brother. I absolutely. Yeah. I'm like, gonna, I'm not gonna fry. I might. Like. Yeah. I would. I would. <laughs> if like there was a night where my brother and I were out partying and we were fucked up and that actually came to fruition, I would. I would absolutely do it for sure. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna fry. I'm I mean, it'd be I'm weird not, the I'm next day. Don't, don't touch. You yeah. Know? yeah. And yeah, we totally. won't talk about it. We just, yeah, uh, no, exactly. You just you, you just do that nod at Thanksgiving when you look at each other and you. Just, <laughs> I remember that time? You know. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, fuck, I eat ass, bro. Like, come on, yeah. like. And I think the story like later is just so good. You can't, it really is. If yeah, they, exactly. If that comes up, and you're like, oh, we're about to tag team this chick, and it's you're with your brother. Like, you have to do it. Like, I the show. Yeah. I'm gonna hit your I'm gonna hit your brother right now and tell him it's all it's all for the show. You better be there when Scoop's ready. We already talked about it yesterday. <laughs> what, <laughs> you and your brother did. We, we were laughing about it. Like, oh, bro, that'd be hilarious. That'd be so fucking yeah. funny. <laughs> I think it'd be better than doing it with some like dude you met on xbox live or something <laughs> yeah, yeah you're probably right yeah yeah because then you have the awkwardness of, of seeing his seeing him and his voice as opposed to just hearing him you know yeah, yeah. and every time he signs on you're re- you're reminded you know his, <laughs> his little <laughs> shit pops up you're like oh no and then when he, and then when he's talking shit he'd be like yeah i fucked your girlfriend and he's serious <laughs> he backpacks me in call of duty now he's backpacking me <laughs> I mean, do you think this is a legitimate question, though? Do you think if you're having a threesome with any like two dudes and a female and a chick, do you think there are certain limitations slash positions that you're like, OK, I'm not going to do that. That's too awkward, but I will do this. I mean, I feel like there's got to be right. I like, mean, we're, like we we're talking about the fucking the DP like that's that's closer than I want to be to a, a dude's dick. Yeah, yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah but I could. I mean, it's, it's, it'd be like a, a fist bump tag team kind of shit. Like, I feel like, <laughs> yeah, I agree. Like you just don't talk about it. In and, you Wait, know, I got so that Don- vein in my forehead. And I'm like, oh, God, <laughs> the forehead right. vein. Yeah, that's a good yeah. one. Like, Yo, you guys, jump in real quick, bro. Like, <laughs> and, he, and, he's, and, he's, and he's running to the kitchen to get you Gatorade if you're thirsty. <laughs> Don, <laughs> Don, what are you saying you would do? Lights. I'm just saying, if you're not comfortable with it, just sit on the bench. You like, you'd I mean? rather watch your brother fuck a chick? <laughs> I mean, if, if, if there's a position I, I'm not willing to do, I'm like, all right, I'm just going to chill. Wait, so you're like, like, okay, I'm going to take a time out from the game right now. You can go ahead and do your thing. Yeah. And then I'll tap back in. Yeah. I mean, what you, the fuck? You don't and have to and stay. Brother, and your brother's sitting there insisting, like, hey, no, get in this. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I don't want to do that. We can both take the pussy. Wait, but Dom, I, I, I are you I leaving feel, the room like, or are you staying in the room no, when you just, time I'll, out? I'll just time out, just like chill. Like, I'll be there in the room. You know what I mean? And you don't think that's weird? <laughs> <laughs> that's weirder than, than be like, all right, let's talk about what, what we're comfortable with doing, what we're not. That's weird. Well, yeah, I'm not saying weird. you're not having this conversation while you're Eiffel Towering. I'm saying you discuss this when you're leaving the bar. <laughs> like, okay, what are we going to do? Yeah, what are we not going to do? There's got to be a game plan. Because I mean, yeah, so, it has to be. It has to be. Because, like, what if you're in a position and, like, you pull out and you accidentally like there's some real shit. Like, what if you nut on your brother back? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, I was just thinking the same thing. And like, same and like thing. bro, we not fighting naked. Like that's yeah. 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 That that's yeah, that, that is the one thing. So if a guy not ever random dude nuts on you, you gotta fight. There's no option. But if your brother nuts, fight, 
you gotta either fight or nut on him right back. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dominance game. It out, no? It's a dominance game. It's a dominance game. You take it and you lick it. <laughs> oh no! You got, no. You got a nut in your hand and you got like fastball it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not licking another dude's nut if he next, accidentally ejaculates on me. That's next thing you know, you're fighting naked. <laughs> I know with with the dude's nut on you. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I've actually seen outtakes from like swinger party porn where uh, I'm talking like trashy real sex swinger parties where like the dude pulls out and like nuts on a chick when he wasn't supposed to. And like Today they go, I learned they go, swinger party porn. I <laughs> thing. That's crazy. And there's bloopers. That's crazy. Yeah, like, <laughs> hey, this is what happens when you're on fucking Pornhub. Hey, but yeah, they, these, these two dudes naked went to blows. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Imagine squaring up with a dude with a bigger dick than you. Like, yeah. at, at that point, like you gotta yeah. murder him. Yeah, you have to. You have to. That's that's it. Like you gotta kill him. You like not to. not only did he wreck your girlfriend, then, then he just nutted on you too. Yeah. And he nutted on you. Yeah, and yeah. beat your ass. At, at that you, point, I, at that point, I'm killing myself. And you know, I don't want to go be, on anymore. You know, it's gonna be some weird shit at a swinger party, and you're knocked out. Yeah. I, I'm just saying, there's gonna be some weird shit going on, bro. Touch Weird his butthole. <laughs> See if he likes it. Touch his butthole. You're going to wake up bleeding out of your asshole. Oh, my no. God. <laughs> Bro, you might wake up with the coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> You're missing a kidney and a bloody asshole and the coronavirus. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh, I, still, no. I still think the craziest thing about that story is the fact that psycho girlfriend, like, was stalking him through his social media apps, and nobody even mentions that. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, they just gla- like all the stories just glazed over that huge glaring elephant in the room. Well, yeah, um, like that's weird. Like, imagine being in a relationship and, <laughs> like, even if you're not, high, but like, being a social media influencer, that's your business. You know what I mean? And, like, if your girl's crazy and she wants to spite you, she could fuck your whole She could ruin your, your whole life. life. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's delete, a, yeah. She could delete everything or just like post nudes to your fucking instagram account or some shit like that yeah. hey let's not get these bitches no ideas out here man <laughs> yeah this, this is like p- this deep internet influencer nonsense but the uh that chick she you, you would know her if you saw her but you might not know her name but lily ponds or lele ponds or whatever she's very very big on youtube and on instagram I and mean, she has like 20 million followers on Instagram. what does right? she do what's her is her, what's is her, her asshole on the internet <laughs> <laughs> i mean I, I wish but she's just uh she's like an, she's a comedian she is funny but it's a lot of it's really really cringe it must not be yeah. that funny it's funny Funny if you're 12, you know what I mean? It's like that kind of humor, you know what I mean? Which is perfect for to gain followers, right? But uh, there's a story of her going into her friends, another chick, and at their house while the chick was in the bathroom and deleting all her videos off YouTube. That's how competitive and crazy she was. Imagine dating a chick that's doing something no. like that. No. You know I want to I mean? hire the cartel, bro. Like, <laughs> bro. She the next hey, I got the hookup right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see the colors? <laughs> you see hey, these these colors don't run. They dig tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> women, women, women be like, dudes be crazy too, but women be crazy, bro. Like, like my yeah. girlfriend accused me of cheating just because I like hanging out with my wife. Like, <laughs> <laughs> How dare she? So Where's fucking rude. Trust? <laughs> so fucking rude well i saw that uh uh six nine i was i was thinking colors six nine got out of jail definitely out of jail okay I, someone sent me this video on discord like uh when he posted that new song it has like 40 million fucking he's gonna did be the see- biggest artist what is Bro, going on here did you see his live yeah i did i watched it two million fucking viewers wow drake can't do that <laughs> did, did you guys hear that his location got leaked Yes, I heard that too. Girl on Twitter. Oh, yeah, he moved into a neighborhood. Yeah, he was in (laughs) supposedly an undisclosed area in like Long Island or some shit. And then some random girl, some white girl, teenager girl, snitches on his location. Like he's about to get clapped. Oh my god! And it wasn't even like perp. It wasn't even like purposefully. It was like. Oh my god, I can't believe freaking six nine lives right next to me. That's so fucking Oh, crazy. you're inviting Look. these crazy people to come shoot up in your neighborhood? <laughs> oh my god. How many how many people did he snitch on? A lot. A lot. A lot. But and, oh. you know, it was funny. I watched, I mean, this is like this is some uh very like uh what's it like uh cultural shit, but I don't really I don't really follow it, but I was watching his video and it made sense what he was saying. Where like they they're fucking his baby mama, they stole his money. You know, like, like kidnap me. They they kidnap don't, me. Don't give a fuck about that, man. Like, like when you are in that life, you kind of take like an unspoken 
Oh, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, but that all sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, why, that's why you. That's why I'm not about that life. That's why I'm doing that. Oh, no, because like, sucks, bro. That all, that's all kind of loopholes in that shit. Man. That's, <laughs> it's that's like a better call style contract. <laughs> nobody, yeah. nobody. That's that fucking Phase Clan contract. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the worst contract ever. <laughs> the contact of the streets is crazy, son. It's like you said, man. It's like being in a relationship. You don't want to make that contract. No. <laughs> no. Like, it's no. like getting married. Um, I, I think you'll be like the biggest artist for the next couple of years, which is crazy to think about. It is. And it just goes to show you uh, how much people really care about that. And yeah. I think he's about to influence a whole bunch of fuckery into the music industry. Oh, it happens. It's like, it's like no one's going to care. Yeah, yeah. And you don't have to be real There's anymore. The power yeah. of like curiosity too. Like, yeah. You can't help but tune in to see just what kind of stupid shit. I used to hate watch. I, I would literally, when he was just blowing yeah. up, I would go to his Instagram just to hate look. Like, fuck this dude with his stupid hair. You know, I'm like 50 years old going to this 22 <laughs> year old dude's fucking. I'm like, fuck this dude. <laughs> Getting all mad. Yeah, his music sucks. And then, his like, music is terrible. Out of nowhere, I'm on his fucking YouTube binge watching his shit. I'm like, what am I doing with my life? Yeah. Bro, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm 31 years old. Yeah. <laughs> He's starting a family, but no, I'm watching this fucking kid making music, talking shit, and I'm entertained. That's the yes, thing. I'm yes. entertained. That's the problem. That's the fucking problem. You got problem. too much power. You got too much power. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it will be. I, I hope nothing happens to him. I, you know, all I, think that. I think he's already done moved, bro. You have to. You have to. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're in that situation, don't you have to, you have to keep moving yeah. if every few months. I mean, yeah, if they yeah. find him, you think he'll live stream his fucking assassination? Oh, my God. Well, he, he's surrounded by armed guards and, like, heavy, heavy armed guards. You yeah. have to. But for, yeah, but yeah, for yeah, how long, to. though? For the rest of your life? I don't think so. They, I, I, from what I heard, it was still, like, August. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, so That's what I heard. And, and the streets are patient. No way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. It takes him going to, like, Starbucks. Hey, shit, else popping. Coffee, and then... <laughs> Oh, wow. The streets are patient. <laughs> hey, don't uh, do ex presidents? Do they get protection for the rest of their lives? Yeah, all of them. Yeah. But it, that's actually just recent, though. I think it started during Obama's first term. Like they didn't. It was only right after, and now it's forever. Yeah, so that's it's kind interesting. Of yeah. I've often wondered that. I didn't know that if that was the case. Or not. I mean, it 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 makes sense on some level, but then it kind of doesn't make sense. Like you have no. Well, I guess you do kind of have power, even if you're you know three presidents ago. But I mean, you can make a phone call I, that I can't make, so you do have yeah, some I mean, power. Look yeah, at obviously. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, there's people that hold grudges too. Like, that's oh, true yeah. too. Yeah, and just crazy people, man. There's just crazy people everywhere. Definitely. Yeah. Speaking of uh, crazy, can we talk about how fucking Meghan Merkel, Markle, whatever her fucking name is, demanded that her husband uh, get rid of all of his guns and stop hunting? Yeah. So what? What was that story exactly? So, dude, I, I guess he was a hunter, and he had like, I guess he had a bunch of like super expensive custom made rifles like yeah. hunting rifles i mean we're talking like probably 40 50 60 grand for yeah those, those like custom like crazy yeah, he, he just yeah, yeah. he got rid of them all and allegedly he gave up hunting which was but, but i'm sure in that british royal family that's probably a a, a significant pastime oh big time they, they do the, the fox hunts the, right what, was there more to the story or it was just like no it was just going around the interwebs because people were like hey why don't you just fucking give up give her your balls as well you know yeah to, well the other thing too is like it's one thing if she if a, your girlfriend if you're like a big gun person your girlfriend's like hey could you not you know carry around the desert eagle around the house and point it at yeah. me all right, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. can you not let the kids play with the ar-15 yeah, 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 like, all right, fair. <laughs> but like you don't need, they're in they're not even in the country like no. they live here the guns are over there and they're like ex they're antique collectibles. Like, what are you crying about? <laughs> so yeah, rid of them all. Yeah, that's what they well, say. Well, I, I guess like yeah, I guess he was like a he was really into hunting and he gave all that up. It's just for me, I immediately flashed to like dudes that I've known throughout my life who just fucking give up everything they've ever fucking been interested in because they meet some chick. Yeah, you know because she doesn't like it or because oh it takes away too much time from her. Right. So I have to fucking I can't ride my motorcycle anymore. Yeah. That pussy. yeah, the main difference is <laughs> the I main difference I'm is those dudes. I am never that horny. Right. <laughs> that pussy got power. But people do that shit for average pussy too. But that's what I'm yeah, Alex is right. Like you get you we're voluntarily giving the pussy that power. We're like yeah. here. We don't want our testicles. We don't need them anymore. Take them, put them in a jar. You yeah. know? Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. I mean, I I'm sure we all have, we've known friends or dudes and we probably have friends that are like that. Like I fucking have friends that I'll just think about what they're doing with their lives. And I'm like, oh. Or yeah. just, I mean, even just cutting people off or 
changing everything for anybody, regardless of somebody you're dating. Yeah, whether you're a dude or a chick, yeah, it doesn't dude, matter. Like, God, yeah. what are you doing? You don't do that. You don't do it's just gonna lead to bigger problems. And then you're you're uh you're relying on that person for all your entertainment and your fun 100%. and your happiness. Because you gave up and- everything that another thing is that like what people don't I think really consider is that you're giving up what that person was probably attracted to in you in the first place. Yeah. Like I don't know, let's say you're a fucking musician, right? And you like your chick met you at a show and she's like, Oh my gosh, he's so hot. Look at him on stage sweating and playing <laughs> guitar. And then like five years later, she's like, You're fucking always playing guitar. I don't want you to play anymore. You know, it's crazy. You there's, just there's say, people, okay, okay, I'll just fucking not do it anymore. Okay. <laughs> and there's people who get that like their whole life together for a girl. You know, they start hitting yeah. the gym, they find a new job. Yeah. And then the girl leaves them or cheats on them and they just fall apart. Yeah, yeah because everything was, money. you put everything into that one basket. Yeah. And if it fucking falls apart, you got nothing, dude. See, this, this is a key lesson here. Just consistently stay a sloppy mess. Because <laughs> yeah, nobody wants it. Well, yeah. no, there are lots of chicks who want a sloppy mess to fix you. Oh, yeah. Invest in flesh. <laughs> yeah, that too. I did that a while ago. Yeah. I was, I, their stock's got to be fucking going through the roof right now. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Invest. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, everything online is sold out. Like, I bet you, I mean, I haven't looked, but I bet if you went on Amazon or whatever, even like a straight up porn, Adam and Eve or something like that, I bet, and this show is brought to you by Adam, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I bet if you went on one of those websites, uh, you, everything would be sold out. Literally everything. We should we should uh, get one of those uh, molds for a, for our dicks and start <laughs> selling. Start I'm selling. putting my baby dick <laughs> out there like that. <laughs> Hey, baby. some women are into it. They start selling our dick online on the website. That's all I'm saying. Um, there, I'm looking on Amazon right now. There are still a few left, but it does say that uh, some of them are running low on supplies. Yeah, that's what they say to get you to buy, buy, buy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, They're faking Give away the secrets, Dom. Um, have any, have you, any of you guys ever done that clone a willy thing? I think I'm going to do it. Is, is that basically what you were talking about, Alex? That's exactly what it oh, is. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You, you, it comes what did you like call a, a clone of what? It's clone a willy. They actually, <laughs> you, they willy. have another one for chicks to do their vagina. Like you could clone the vagina. It, what what, the inside of what it feels like? No, it can't. Uh, Tom, you can't. How are you going to uh, pour? What are you going to uh, funnel in your in your hoo-ha and dump it in there? <laughs> that has to be know, pretty dude. shocking for a woman to see her vagina really for the first time. <laughs> hey. Stop. Like you see your you see your dick pretty clearly, but girls aren't seeing their pussy without like a mirror and their fucking yeah. strap strap legs. Some very up. interesting yoga positions and yeah. angles. Um, I think I'm gonna do it though. It's like forty bucks. I think I'm gonna do it. What and then what bronze it and put it on the uh, uh, on the table? There's, or, two, or, there's or, two kinds. There's one. Fuck that, yourself. <laughs> that style there you go. Stream side up and shit. So you could <laughs> literally you're literally living out the the fucking yourself. When someone tells you to go ahead and do oh, that. Fuck you know what? I have. It doesn't feel that bad. <laughs> no, there's two kinds. There's one that's just a dildo, and there's another one that like is molded around a vibrator. So they actually, uh, it actually vibrates. I'll and you just get- do that for my girl, just in case if I die. That's what I'm saying, though. <laughs> no, I always got that dick with her. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to I'm 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 haunt her. Make sure if I die, I'm going to come back from the dead to make sure. Yeah. You don't need that nigga. You got my vibrator. Exactly. To make sure she's not using some You got, you fucking- got my mold. You don't need to move. Yeah. You got my mold, bitch. If you move on, you're a hoe. <laughs> Official. Everybody knows that. That's that's, yeah, that's the rule. Everybody knows work. that. You can send it but to your enemies, she, too. She does. I gotta move on, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I gotta grow as a man. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's what she would have wanted, honestly. Exactly. <laughs> and honestly, if she cries less than your wife at, at your funeral, that's fucked up. It's that fucked up. up. <laughs> but at my funeral, they gotta fight to the death. See who, who okay. gets to mourn. See what's to see which one gets the mold. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta throw the mold like a bouquet of flowers at a wedding. Whoever catches it gets to be my widow. Oh, that'd be the best TikTok video ever. Yeah. I made, I made a joke how, like, at my funeral, you got to toss my body like a bouquet of flowers. Whoever catches it dies next. And you got to keep it going. <laughs> oh, hell no. Over and over how, and over. Mu- how much do you weigh? <laughs> I'm 280 pounds. <laughs> no, I'm not catching you, dude. <laughs> I feel like we do need to update the uh, the funeral. The funeral's pretty boring right now, you know? like. The- oh, go on, Scoop, please. Dude, I mean, when I die, I want some fucking music. Let's drink Some fanfare. I want a concert. Everyone's Very all dreamer. sad, like. You know? I do want to be late to my own funeral. Like yeah. I do want everyone to be there waiting. The casket Africans. <laughs> <dancing Yeah. in. laughs> I mean, Hunter, Hunter Thompson had the best idea when they shot him yeah. out of a fucking cannon. That was brilliant. Wait, did they actually do that? Yeah, they yeah. shot his ashes out of a fucking cannon. 
Where? Johnny, Johnny Depp. Johnny yep. Depp did it at his yep. uh, state in uh, Colorado. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty dope. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. Something like that. It doesn't, I agree. It doesn't need to be ridiculous, you know, but it's something more fun. Uh, you know? I also want to be in my casket like this. It's chilling. <laughs> you know, of all of us talking about this, I could Dom is the only one I could see actually doing this shit. <laughs> I want to be fun too. You know what I mean? I no, just propped fun. up in a chair. Like. You prank or you prank the people there and like have someone in the casket move your body and pretend like you're alive. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I like it. Or yeah, like, like a like weekend at Bernie's or like a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck that. I want the Undertaker music to come on and then and have you prop up. Oh yeah, you just sit up and your yeah, eyes are all just, wide open. Yeah. I'm don't fucking leave this. <laughs> oh my god, he's alive. Oh, I want yeah, I want that dude, the announcer guy. Oh, and then yeah. Paul Bear. Yeah. And then I want the thing to open, like spring shot open, the mist comes out, dong dong, and your eyes are wide open, you're just looking oh over. My, oh my. Oh, that'd be so great. everybody with the lighters and cell phone lights in the crowd. That TikTok video, man, be oh, sick. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, we got a TikTok video ready to go. Let's load that shit up. <laughs> so viral. So, what, what was the other thing you guys were bringing up before the show? I don't know, man. There's been a. I feel like there's been a lot of random shit happening. Only fans. Oh yeah. Oh, only yeah. Fans. oh yeah. Only fans. Oh yeah. I was gonna. Oh, okay, so I have not gone down the OnlyFans rabbit hole yet. Mm. Just, just because I, I don't. To me, I'm just not. I'm not paying. Who the fuck are you? I'm not paying. Okay, but, let me. Let me ask this. What? Is there a minimum amount and a maximum? I thought there is. Hold on, right? hold on. I, I'm not sure, but hold on. So a okay. girl, a girl that I know uh, uh, who does pretty well on the internet, uh, we were talking and, and she kept posting her OnlyFans. I was like, I was like, all right, be honest. Like, what? It, how does? How does? How much money are you making off this? She's like, oh, I'm making about 70, 80 grand a month. Fucking hell, dude, dude. And, oh, no, what my homegirl yeah. makes about forty grand a month just Fuck. by throwing feet. Yeah. That's what, and and now yet she has uh two hundred and like like ninety fo- ninety thousand followers on Instagram, and and it dude. And so I, I said, all right, you know what? I gotta look. I gotta see. I gotta yeah, see what is she I posting. Agree. I agree. What yeah. is she posting that's so crazy that you're willing to pay five ninety nine a month, right? So I go on there, unimpressed. Really? I mean, it's just a little bit more than Instagram. There were there were a couple uh short videos of her getting nailed, but like you couldn't really see anything. There was one of her, like, you know, uh, sucking a fake dick. I'm like, yeah, that's not doing it for me. That's great. I think, I think it's the intrigue that gets people. I think because people look at them as, like, regular ass. Yeah, people. I think it's the personalization of it. I don't think it's, yeah, yeah I think that's the, that's the number one thing is people, that's like. the only way I could rationalize it. Yeah. Like, how would you pay 20 bucks a month to look at bikini pictures? Well, that, that, was yeah. the, that was the appeal of, like, Pornhub and all these sites before. Now, like, it's dominated by porn stars. Right, right. Yeah. So, like, the, all the amateur shit is like isn't on there anymore. You got to go to like Reddit if you want amateur porn. I don't know. I see a lot of like not porn stars on Pornhub, but it's like, still there, baby. It's still there. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, they, I know have, what you're they actually no. they, they have more uh, they I'm have more totally views. worker, you know, versus, uh, Instagram. Model. Yeah, because I don't want I don't want some chick who like looks pretty hot and had plastic surgery or like she is like really into doing porn. Like, if, if it's a porn, if she's doing porn, I want her to be like on like the bottom rung. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, uncomfortable. I yeah, I <laughs> yeah like like she, you know she might have been like strung out and like had to make some yeah. money somehow yeah, like yeah. she wanted to be an actress she's stuck in hollywood like she really needs to do something like Wait, that's yeah. the kind of porn i want yeah Scoop, the, i have i have press I've... stick with anxiety <laughs> and, like, yeah daddy is just lost her job at target yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scoop, moderate have... methamphetamine addiction <laughs> i have questions okay so how many times a day is she posting uh not even once a day like sometimes really? only once and a week. And she's making legitimately close to three quarters of a million dollars a year. Oh, oh yeah. And not, not only that, that's just off of the subscriptions. So what oh, now what oh, they yeah. do in here, this is this is some meta shit, bro. Now wow. what they do in here is that if you want to see like the super exclusive, you, you might more. have to pay 10, 20, 30, 50 bucks to unlock it with yeah. in OnlyFans. Bro, that's, get, that, that's getting in the hottest nightclub and then having to pay to get in the VIP section right now. Not after. even the hottest <laughs> nightclub. The fucking yeah, true, tier true, three true. nightclub. Yeah. That's like Bro. Buying, uh, a double cheeseburger, but you got to pay for the pickles. <laughs> yes, yes. That's, a, that's a good analogy. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. That's Dude, problem. but I know that OnlyFans shit, they make a lot more money when the entry is low and then they make them pay yeah, an extra for so. yeah. content, content within. Honestly, I'm trying to wife one of these girls up because that's a lot of fucking money. A lot of money. <laughs> I'm trying to get a PS5. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. PS5. Like, hey, a lot that- of motherfuckers on the internet are mad about that shit. They're like, oh, OnlyFans. Thoughts. I'm like, bro, 
if my girl decides to do that, I got a 9% management. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to show your feet? You want to show some ass? Yeah. Do your thing. I got a management. As a matter of fact, <laughs> up, I'm are, you, are you letting her fuck another dude on the OnlyFans? Can I kill her? <laughs> <laughs> That's a valid question. Yeah. I mean, that would get a lot of subscribers right there if you killed her on the... On the... Like, like if, she, if she does some shit like that, I have no choice but to fuck a mom, become her stepdad, <laughs> and then ground her for being childish. I like it. I like <laughs> it. Yeah, I mean, like, that, that's the move. in the middle. That's 40 <laughs> chess. I like it. I like it. Uh, would you I mean, let your girl do only... For, like, real shit. Would you... Uh, not let. I mean, she could do whatever she wants because she could just leave if she wants. But if she did OnlyFans, or would you be all right with it? It depends what... Yeah, yeah I, you can't be fucking no dudes, man. Okay, let's say not fucking. What yeah. if, well, that Dom, what if she was fucking you? Would you like? Would you fuck her on her own? Oh yeah, that, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. yeah like I, I'll do that. I just put a mask on. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll look at the ah. camera. I'll, 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 I'll look at the camera on like some R. Kelly sex tape shit. Like, Yo, make sure be out Dom King get out on Instagram. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in focus. I don't know. I, I just feel like it's weird because if you remember a couple of years ago, it was all about Patreon and people hating on that. Yeah, like you're kind of damned if you do and damned if you don't. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, like, it, it's a lot. Of, I think a lot of people that they hate on it are just people one that don't really understand how anything works like this on the internet, and then, so they just want to get mad because they're working somewhere else. You know, like, and I, I felt like that too about other stuff. Like I've heard the amount of money that somebody's making doing whatever it is. I'm like, man, fuck that shit. You know, like, oh, you do a Bitcoin? Fuck you. Bitcoin sucks a dick. You know, but it's just man, like, oh, get a real job, stupid. Shit. Yeah, yeah. It's like, but I. It's just because I mean, not Bitcoin specifically, but it's like I don't get it, so I'm getting mad about it. It, you know because i don't understand it it's like or it's there's... because you're not making that much or money. That. yeah yeah or that um there's a there's a movement right now people are trying like anti-porn people are trying to get the credit card companies to stop allowing charges to go through on only fans to stop really providing service yeah. to only fans like they're yeah. trying to get like visa and mastercard <laughs> to say no it's yeah. it's already happened it's already happened riley reed remember the meme chick yeah you know yeah, yeah. yeah. so she uh she all of her bank accounts got canceled yeah, because there was Wait. so much outrage. Her not not credit cards. Her actual bank account. So got what do you canceled. mean? Like you, she goes to, to her Bank of America account, know, goes to log in, and it, she can't. I don't know what she does for her banking system, but yeah, her all almost in the same day, her PayPal, uh, her and her credit cards and her uh, banks all got canceled. Are you going to the this bank in like, China? <laughs> Sorry, we canceled your accounts for Hoenn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I know Chase. They be like, "Hey, man, you gotta call if you if you wanna uh, subscribe. You gotta call call in." I'm like, "I'm not calling." Really? Yeah. Wait, 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 <laughs> Dom. Chase said, "If you wait, explain, please." Yeah, I mean, I I, I almost gave in. I, I, you know what I mean? Are you talking like, about OnlyFans? Yeah. Okay. And so I was I was gonna do it, and then uh, it came up with a phone number. I was like, "Yo, you gotta call Chase to verify this person." I was like. I'm not college. Wait, where did There's that There's no way I'm getting on the phone wait, chasing wait, like- Where did that yeah. Imagine like being at a whorehouse, <laughs> like you, a legal one in Australia. The and they saved you, bro. The you <laughs> like, yo, bro, are you sure? Yeah, hey, I was like, sure? I'm not calling it. Be we're like, yo. We're in a pandemic yeah, right now, bro. Like, <laughs> that OnlyFans, yeah, that's me. Go ahead and accept <laughs> Can you imagine trying to charge like, at like Bunny Ranch and like the fraud protection calls you. They're like, hey, you tried to charge $400 at the Bunny Ranch. Yeah, yeah that's me, that's me. <laughs> like we're trying to go through your charges. Let's see, $7 for Chipotle. You, know, uh, you got a Domino's charge. $500 for big black girl gets her ass fucked by two midget clowns. Huh. Dom, where did you get prompted to, to call them? Were you, what, like, were you on OnlyFans? Yeah, I was on OnlyFans. Wow. That seems kind of weird. Like it's that not. Seems yeah. fucking it's not insane. like well, it wasn't expensive. I'm assuming, right? You know, five bucks, yeah. ten bucks. Yeah, yeah, like five bucks. I, I just wanted to see. I was like, oh, that's like God. that's like the male version of slut shaming. Yeah, <laughs> it's, prob it's probably because it's an unusual charge. Yeah, to, like your previous transactions. Yeah. Oh well, Chase better get with it, man. They, fucking OnlyFans is popping right now. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out what the basis is to to like take these people down. Like, well, I don't understand. Is it a moral thing or is it? Probably it's probably. Yeah. I mean, it's like I always ask myself, why the fuck is prostitution illegal, dude? Like, why is it illegal? Yeah. Like, you're not protecting anyone. No, no, you're making it no. way worse. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I'm sure it has something to do with just people who are in power don't want that to be existing. You know, going there's, against there's religion. There's a lot of dudes out there who like idolize these girls in hopes that they're gonna smash them, like Twitch streamers. And shit. Oh yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. And like the Twitch streamers do a 180 and start doing these. Uh, they call them lewd content. And so they start doing it and it ruins this whole good girl aspect that they 
fucking made up as <laughs> mm-hmm. it's fucking crazy like you go on twitter and you see it you go on twitter you just read the replies all these dudes using like sock puppet accounts and shit just going hard on these girls like personally how i see it is if my girl wants to show make money showing the same shit she posts on instagram yo do it yeah Secure the fucking bag yeah if anything, you're stupid if you're not making money doing that shit. Yeah, you now might I as well. Probably, I probably got to cheat on you at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that goes without saying, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, it, it, it's crazy because it's reaching the point where, like, because of the pandemic, all these girls who are kind of like slut shaming <clears throat> sex workers are now starting to realize there's a lot of money involved. And, you know, even though they look average, there's people who like average. So yeah, yeah. only a pay premium for average, or or they that that them. average is your thing specifically. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like whatever that girl looks like, that is your shit. Yeah, you know? Exactly. Like, back like, back in back in the day, college students were so fucking broke. Think about how much money college girls are making right now doing that shit. Oh, for sure. for sure. I, I know. I know. Uh, one of my homegirls lives in Texas, and she just paid her full tuition just by doing OnlyFans. Good for her, that man. pussy yeah. for a real one. Yeah, you and she doesn't, knock even, it. she doesn't even do nudes on yeah, there. I asked her, Trevor, I was like, what do you post on there? She was like, oh, it's basically the same shit I do on Instagram. Sometimes but I see, just that's, a little more cheek. So yeah. then is it the is it the accessibility factor? Because I, I genuinely you don't see. You can message. You can message on there. That, that's, that's what I'm noticed. saying. Like, yeah. is, it, is it these dudes are paying because they legitimately think that, oh, I might actually be able to fuck this chick? Well, I, well, that, but also I think there's so many people on there that you're rotating. Like your your main customer base is probably like 2%. You know what I mean? It's just people that are curious like me who jumped on there real oh, quick. Like, so oh, let me look. Like they keep getting people who want to see what they might yeah, be able to see. It's just turnover, turnover, oh, turnover. Like, you know, yeah, you might maybe. have 10,000 people, but only 2,000 ever stay. And it's just 8,000 people rolling through. You know, because five bucks, whatever. You know, yeah, I, I, it's not I just, bad. I yeah. give a five dollars. I just want to see. Yeah, but yeah. five dollars on candy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think it's got to be curiosity. Yeah, I think it's also a lack of censorship too. Like you can't yeah. post pictures like that on Facebook or Twitter. right. Even Twitter is cracking down on shit. Now. Yeah, uh, which is, is Twitter weird. cracking down because Twitter was. That was Twitter, the place. Yo, I've been on Twitter since 2009, and I've seen some crazy shit on Twitter. I've seen people <laughs> show how to cook crack. I've seen <laughs> babies getting. Barbecue. No, nah, this is dead serious. I've yeah. seen some crazy shit. Yeah. I've seen like real, real crazy shit. And like now I can't even call a bitch fat without getting suspended mm-hmm. on Twitter. Mm-hmm. So like now a lot of these artists and the same thing with Patreon. Patreon used to be like the safe haven for yeah. a lot of artists. They used to draw like hentai, some crazy shit. And Patreon started cracking down on it. So yeah. a lot of it has to do with social media censorship. That yeah. Getting- Tumblr too. Yeah, Tumblr, Tumblr yeah. got real yeah. porn. Yeah. Is Tumblr even still around? Like, that was their whole thing was porn. They're, they're kind of dying. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they got to be, yeah. There was a lot of pedophiles on Tumblr, and now they're on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Dang, yeah. Was, like, and it, there was that whole weird, uh, I, I saw some guy made it. It, was a, it seemed like a pretty good video, and I followed some of the links, and I was like, oh, this it does seem legit. But uh, it was on YouTube where he found, like, a, basically a pedophile ring on YouTube out in the open and it but it was there's no nudes though it wasn't like nude children but you could tell by the com it was so fucking crazy dude and he's explaining yeah yeah and like the way they would comment and they would timestamp like when the girl was like bending over like i'm talking about a kid and and youtube was pushing these videos yeah yeah and they they were were, gonna push the top yeah like, oh, that shit was crazy i remember that yeah i fell into the rabbit hole of articles reading about because i'm just like yo that's fucking wild because if you watch one video the youtube algorithm yeah it like pushes it in, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and they were communicating just by posting the timestamps and using codes. Yep. What the weird fuck? terminologies? It, yep. it was fucking wild. It was way creepy. I thought it was a kind of a weirdo conspiracy theory at first, but then when I saw the video, I was like, "Oh no, this looks legit as fuck." Like yeah. what he's talking. About. Yeah, it's so creepy. It's so, so, no. but, how many people, people was in this ring? Was it like a? Uh, thousand, yeah, it thousand. was. It was eighteen million, I think. Wow, like what, what university is this where you learn how to code? <laughs> Pedophile code. Dude, they, these videos too were like harmless videos. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Self at home type shit with kids and like the, most of the shit. yeah, mo- most of the videos. And this is what made it even more creepy is that most of them, like you're saying, were completely harmless. But it was kids had their you know like a kid now has a phone. Yeah. So like they yeah. just they're making their own little five minute video like oh this is how I you know do whatever cook mac and cheese. <laughs> you know, like and their parents probably don't even know she's putting this on the internet. It's this like, is why. Yeah. This is why. If I ever took responsibility for my kids, I would never give them a phone or anything. Yeah. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. never, yeah, dude, yeah, that's honestly yeah, scary. Yeah. Like, can you imagine being a parent and having a daughter, and she's like just posting these fun TikTok videos with her friends, and you, there's some fucking fifty year old dude like time stamping it. Oh, that's yo, so it gets, it gets fucking even gross, deeper. dude. Um, yeah, there was a video, a short documentary that I was watching about Instagram, where like Instagram, for some reason, if you were like fourteen or you met the threshold, you would land on the explore page. And random oh, profile dudes were like just DM you immediately. Oh my and god! So, yeah, they were doing like a like a sting bus on them. Yeah, and this cop lady, she was pretending to be a fourteen year old girl, and she made an account. And within the same day, she got about a hundred DMs. From fuck! People. Oh what my god! Yeah. Oh my god! No, it, it's not. It's on YouTube. Anybody watching this shit, go look that join up. It's it's real. And uh, you know, I have a fourteen year old niece. And so I told my sister about it. I was like, yo, she got Instagram. You need to monitor that shit. And she wanted her DMs. And there was like a whole bunch of requests. And a couple, there was a couple of dudes in her requests. Oh, my like, God. <laughs> oh, my God. It's scary, bro. Oh, my. I, was, I, got, I went down the Chris uh, Hansen rabbit hole I recently. love that, bro. Yeah, me too. Like two days ago. It's bro. very <laughs> similar, though. It's like, but I, I just never understand. Like, bro, you're driving two fucking hours? Yeah. And this with whole pizza? Pizza, with <laughs> pizza, condoms, Henny? Like, what are you doing? What's <laughs> to do with a bag of hot Cheetos? <laughs> bro, from like Connecticut all the way to New Jersey just to meet up with a 14-year-old boy. I'm just like... With a Nintendo like, Switch too, like, 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 bro, like the hot Cheetos, really? Yeah. Yeah. Bro, hot Cheetos, that's crazy. There's, there's that's this incredible. one, uh, there's this one kid on YouTube, and uh, he was on a PS4, and he had his little thing going on. It's called Expose Niggas. <laughs> <laughs> and what he would do, he would, uh, he would show himself from like, I guess, like the waist down or something like that, and he would like go on as a 14 year old girl. And get dudes like to go on uh, and, and chat with him. He'd be like, uh, "Can you just take your pants off real quick?" And he'd be like, "All right." It'd be old men, you know what I mean? Oh take my your pants god! Off. He'd like take your shirt off. And he'd take the shirt off, and then he'd be like, "Hey, nigga, what you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "You sick? You sick? Sweaty Murphy, seven one five. You a pedophile, son? You nasty!" <laughs> and then they log off. <laughs> He's going to be old as fuck, too. It's always these Indian dudes or the older white dudes. Yeah. Like, I made a Snapchat. uh, 2015 is when I made my Snapchat. And I had so many Indian dudes randomly sending me dicks. I'm like, bro, I'm a grown-ass man. It's crazy. There's nothing wrong if you're gay. I'm just letting you know, like, I'm a dude. I'm not a girl. Who leads with that? Immediately. And like, that's the biggest thing. Who leads with the dick? That, I never understood that. Well, you <laughs> had that chick's photo on your account on Instagram. Yeah. And didn't you have a bunch of dudes yeah. DMing you all the time? Yeah. When I was a photographer, I had, oh, I've told this a million times, but I, yeah. my, my profile pic was a girl. And uh, it was just kind of, at first it was for fun, you know, like I thought it was funny, but then it ended up making the page grow. So I left it, mm-hmm. but it was, it was the girl. And uh, then I would talk as the girl, like in the comments as a joke, you know, it was like a running joke on there, but the fucking messages, dude. I mean, just like first thing, dick, first thing, dick. And then I would t- I would find a dick pic online and send it right back. Like, well, mine's better, you know, or something like that. And like, oh, you're, you should, oh, you're, you should monetize that shit. <laughs> I know, dude, it's crazy. Making six figures. Hey, get them to sign up to OnlyFans just to find yeah. out you're yeah. a dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, got that five, though. Got that five. Yeah. Yeah. All you need is the hey. one five. That's it. Hey, well, what are they going to do? Call their bank? Nah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's actually hey. not the worst idea. That's not all. a bad idea, Scoop. I'm yeah. all about a hustle. All right. Hey, can you, can you, uh, can you uh, sue somebody for fraud at that point? <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, but what's the fraud? Like, no, man, because well, you, you could say once they log on, you could put like a little disclaimer and say, these are all clients. I'm a dude. These are photos I've taken. You know, you could make yeah. a fans and say, oh, I this like is that photography page. I it's like their it. fault for assuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. Hey. It is interesting, though, like because we've talked about it so much, but leading like without any fucking context, no prior contact. And you're sending a fucking like, hey, here's my yeah. dick. Yeah, like you don't have to say, "Do you mind if I send you my penis, miss?" Like it doesn't have to be that crazy, <laughs> but you can feel the vibe, you know, and you're like, "Oh, it's time, send that dick pic." That's our Kelly. It's time. Like, it is. I agree. I, I hope I'm never that horny in my life. That's crazy. That's wild. That's hazardously horny. Yeah. Oh yeah. Red oh yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> or that and the other stuff was the R. Kelly math. <laughs> I love that meme so much. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. 
What was that? There was one other thing you guys wanted to talk about. I can't remember what it was, though. Uh, Elon, Elon Musk's son. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kyle. Yeah, what, what is it? It's Kyle, right? <laughs> I, I don't think it actually, because on the Joe Rogan podcast, it didn't sound like that's actually what it was. Like, he didn't no. say that. That was just a that, running that, joke. That's a meme. Yeah, yeah, it was a meme. Yeah, yeah. I didn't write it. They yeah. Because at, at first I was like, oh, that's actually a really funny troll. And it's just Kyle. But then on the podcast, he, he basically said it, that's not what it was. It was actually this, this whatever the fuck. I mean, the A12 stands for the, 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 that plane, that fucking super yeah, top secret plane. They, like, they're both a fan of. <laughs> yeah. Like, and isn't he married to that Grimes chick? She's a yeah, musician. Grimes. Yeah, Grimes. How do you, my question is, how is that even like legal to put that shit on, on the, on a birth certificate? Like, how do they, like, imagine carrying a child for nine months and you name him after a capture. <laughs> but imagine yeah. imagine being that kid in junior high dude or even elementary school i couldn't imagine i couldn't imagine. i mean he he's I mean, not nobody, he, who, nobody's who, gonna do shit because like it's elon musk's son yeah um, look. not to mention he's not fucking going to some dumbass private or public school yeah but I, I still feel like kids are ruthless i mean they are i, I, I have a you. totally normal name but everyone makes fun you know like people make fun of it no matter what you know what I mean? Like People kids are rude. Anything if they find it. Yeah, but kids are so mean, man. and I was mean too. Yeah, like, that was, we were yeah. terrible, bro. Terrible. Up. terrible. <laughs> oh, like we literally terrorized our friends. You could you could put rest in peace, grandma, on Twitter, and you get some random dude saying, "Oh, that's crazy." Well, here's a rest in peace, grandma beat that I made on SoundCloud. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you just don't give a fuck anymore. I mean, that's the hustle. <laughs> Dude, she's a very interesting looking woman, by the way. She's kind of odd, right? Yeah, he's odd. No, I mean, but yeah. she looks real. Like we all know he's odd. We've seen him on Rogan. He's not very comfortable when he's speaking, even though he's super intelligent. But she just looks weird. Yeah, like I don't know something about her. Yeah, but, and they, I mean, look, yeah. look at the old Elon Musk picture before he was. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's every, fucking funny. Bro. Everything for him is like a huge upgrade. He, oh, he absolutely. Likes, he likes the 2007 MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> According to what this article, uh, I think it's Enter to ET, whatever, it says uh, uh, Musk told Rogan that it's just X, the letter X, and then the A E is pronounced Ash, like Ash from a fire. So, so X Ash? X Ash. Yeah, Zash maybe Zash A twelve. Oh no, I hope it's Zash A twelve. I can tell you right now, I'd be getting getting the girls be like, X go give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, 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 she looks like the girl from the Grudge. Yeah, she's oh, she's she's kind of creepy, right? Yeah, and I, is she been? I mean, I haven't seen anything from her in a long time. Like, I feel like I haven't even heard her name other than in relation to Elon Musk. Oh really? In a long, long I know time. she was a big deal. Maybe like three. There was no, one she big, was big song. She she was big in music. Like I think three, four, five years ago. Something yeah, around that. that also happens. Like some of these musicians get married and they just like disappear. Yeah, it's probably so much of a hustle though. Seriously though, so much of a fucking hustle. Like, and we never understand the hustle. I mean, this is even for for you. It's like uh. Like people that go on Twitch every day, I didn't understand how hard that was until I started doing it. Yeah, bro. Sure. <laughs> holy shit! It's just, I mean, like three, four, five. You know, I I can only do like three and a half hours, and there are people that do eight hours, ten hours, fifteen, sixteen hours. Yeah. I could not imagine trying to be entertaining for that long, like no. three hours, and I'm so tired and maxed out, you know, mentally. Fuck, I do. Yeah. We do an hour podcast, and I'm like ready for bed. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is interesting, though. I didn't know this. It says neither Grimes nor Musk have confirmed where she gave birth, as numerous media outlets have reported. If she gave birth in California, the name will not be accepted by the state because in California, you are only allowed to use the 26 letters in the alphabet for a baby name and an yeah, apostrophe if needed. That's what I was saying. Yeah, but but if the that, kid that is baby, born, that baby was an elementary school project. That's what. That was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Elon definitely nutted into a test tube for sure. Yeah, uh, they pulled out the graphing calculator. And- <laughs> <laughs> but if it's another state, can yeah, you- I don't, I don't know. I, I, you probably have to look into like the individual uh, state laws. Well, isn't one of them that? like a Greek letter too? Or like one of them is right. So what if you were born somewhere else and that was a letter they use, like Cyrillic or whatever the fuck it's called? Uh, well, I like, mean, I guess if, I, I don't know. I don't if know. um, if you don't use like whatever, so like there's other languages that still use different alphabets. And so if you use that, they basically give you like two different IDs. Like I've seen working in hotels, you know, people from like Poland, their uh, passports, there's like the English uh, side and then there's the, their, you know, Polish side, whatever. And so you see, like, I, I remember looking at one for the first time 
And I was like, dude, I can't even put your name into the computer. <laughs> like, the, like the, the, the shit doesn't exist. And I, but she didn't speak English. So she's just as confused as me. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and so I'm sitting there for like five minutes. And then finally I flipped it over and I realized on the back of every other page was just like the normal English al- uh, alphabet. That's legit. That's convenient. Yeah. yeah, yeah like right? some random symbols. I look like hieroglyphics. But <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel like Bob or Gary. Or uh, I'm not going to lie. I don't think I see nothing personal personally attractive in Grimes at all. And she's he was very like, odd. I mean, it's also subjective. Like maybe of you course. Have super fucking crippling depression and she's like the embodiment. Yeah. Of that. He's attractive. Well, the fact that they could name their kid something like that, like they get down on that together, that probably means they vibe a little bit. Oh, I'm sure they do. They probably dork out all the time. <laughs> probably pull out the Ouija board and have Friday night. <laughs> Man. And, and he was dating Amber Heard right before that, right? For a long time, he's dating Amber Heard. And she's yeah, a fucking you're right. he dime was. piece. Yeah. She's crazy as fuck, but she is hot as yeah. fuck, too. Yeah. I don't know. On the hot crazy scale, she'd be way up there in that area. And when he said he's gonna he's selling all his possessions. So he owns multiple houses. The only thing he's not selling is like, you know, uh some personal items and his Tesla. Who, Elon? Yeah. But he's oh. selling his all of his houses. Um Yeah, he's his... allegedly cash poor as fuck. I mean, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's worth isn't he worth like thirty like forty billion or something? Probably, yeah. I don't, I don't know the exact number, but yeah. What's he gonna do? How you so- worth that, but you broke? I don't get it. Well, because it's all it's all caught up in the stocks. Yeah, it's all, yeah, it's all assets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all assets. Yeah, because he made that one tweet about Tesla, and then the stocks plummeted. But yeah. he he so sold his stocks right before, and then when they plummeted, he bought them back. Not all yeah. of them, but he bought he sold a portion. Yeah, of he's them. gonna get a call from the SEC. What they already <laughs> tried to get him. You actually, they can't fuck with you on Twitter. It's like basically a statue now. Like you, they. They were trying to get him on that what like last year, a year and a the half ago. Weed, the weed tweet? I don't remember what it was. It might have been that. I don't remember. But they were oh, that was one he said when he was on acid. Something, yeah. But they tried to set a statute basically, and uh they actually can't fuck with you on Twitter. They don't consider that manipulating the market. I don't know how. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird because then he tweeted that Tesla stocks were too high. Yeah. Plummets. And then he buys it back and it goes right back up. Yeah. Yo, that's just crazy. That seems nobody's like gonna, manipulation. Nobody's gonna fuck with him because he's literally dating Satan. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what you gotta do is just start speaking Latin and everything starts floating. We're doing it. <laughs> I need to see what she looks like. This grinds. I need to see it. Um, do you saw it pulled up? In the ring. Do you saw it pulled up, Bradley? She looks very. It's on my phone. Oh, she, she looks very. She's very gothy. Very, very. gothy. Okay. I mean, with the um, name like Grimes, you got to be gothy, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I know Elon said today that if California doesn't get its shit together, he's talking about pulling the fucking Tesla factory and moving it to uh, Texas or I saw that. Uh, Nevada. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably where his fucking kid was born. Nevada, Area 51. Probably. <laughs> Area 51. <laughs> the same lab the fucking COVID-19 was made. Yeah. Oh, oh. Hey. Demonetized. He, he, start, he started the whole raid Area 51 shit to get his kid out. <laughs> yeah. it's, it, it's not a coincidence that the fucking military confirmed there was a UFO and then suddenly fucking Skynet is born. <laughs> it's funny, too, because so that's, that, wow, that's that UFO thing was, was in that, San Diego. That was yeah. outside of San Diego. And that guy's really? been barking up about that for a while. And everyone, they weren't calling him crazy because he's too credible. He was, you oh, know, the like, Navy guy. Yeah, he's like 30 year, you know, aviation, you know, guy. Like, you can't call that guy a nutter. You know what I mean? I mean, you could, I guess. But uh, it's funny to see this now and nobody even fucking cares. And nobody cares. Nobody no. gives a shit. Yeah, yeah because the aliens up. showed up and they're like, no, nah, we're not fucking with these people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, they bounce. They had all the answers to all our problems. And they're just like, <laughs> nah, not these fucking assholes. Because we've been you. Well, yeah, we didn't care because we got fucking murder hornets now to worry about. <laughs> Yo, know, I heard they killed like 500 people. baby that went viral that was jumping on the dude's back. That big ass baby. I don't That's think I saw that. Scarier. What? Yeah. I didn't, yeah. I didn't see this. The, Go YouTube that shit. Is it a big ass baby, baby jumping, jumping on up man's the, back? It's a big fucking baby. That motherfucker should be paying rent. He's huge. <laughs> hey, look at that shit. He was jumping on the dude's back, you know, and people calling it cute. And I'm just like, yo, that dude's dead. <laughs> not moving. Broke his fucking dead. spine. Yeah, like he, he wasn't moving. Yeah, he was probably made in the same lab as of Rona <laughs> and you know, I must kid. In the 2020s, bro. I'll never, I'll never forget it. When I was working at one of the hotels I was working at, this family checked in and they had a kid who was like 10 years old, but was so fat. They had him in a fucking, uh, in like the, um, the fucking, what's it called? Like the, the, 
the stroller, like a, a full, like a big ass stroller. Was this and, dragon or some shit? <laughs> <laughs> and like, dude, they they were literally asking for more bacon from the kitchen area in the morning during breakfast. It's a dragon. The kid. Yeah, no, for like just for the kid, like the, <laughs> the kid and his poor ankles are busted. <laughs> <laughs> are to me, up. is that child abuse? That I like, a, it's gotta, gotta be right. Gotta I felt be so bad for yeah. the kid. That yeah. kid could not get out and walk on his own fucking two feet. Yo, yo, remember that that viral clip of that kid that was in the car seat and he's just like, "Where we about to eat at?" Oh yeah, and he was like that. He, he was a really big fucking he was a big kid. fucking kid. Yeah. <laughs> what, what was that kid? I think he's Australian who like went viral for getting bullied and apparently he like finessed. Oh yeah, like the dwarf that, kid. Was yeah. it Nathan? Oh. Yeah. So I'm, I don't, I yeah, he was like an me, Aboriginal but... kid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then on his Instagram, he got like a fucking Lambo or some shit. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I got so mad. I, <laughs> or, I was bullying, bro. Wait, there... Dom, did you say that you heard that fucking the murder hornets kill 500 people a year? Is that what you heard? No, like in Asia. Yeah, in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Japan. Yeah, Japan. Yeah. That's yeah. that's that's not a lot out of, out of the whole. I mean, population. it's not a lot, but it seems to well, be a they, lot they to be killed them, by a fucking bug. They call them murder hornets because they murder a bunch of bees. That's why they call yeah, them. That, no, right? Yeah, and decapitate them. Yeah, you know it's funny. Somebody was like, "Damn, man, how how we got murder hornets out here in the United States?" Somebody else was like, "Bro, you know flights is cheap as hell right now." <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like I saw a flight to Japan for 150 bucks. I was that's about no. to I was that's about crazy. to just go. I was like, fuck it. If I get sick, I get sick. I'll just call for my ex or something. Like, <laughs> yeah. If he go, dies, he dies. Go, go call for the door hornet. handle. The murder hornet thing is not so bad. It's in the East Coast. Yeah. The mm. East Coast, so like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't, and, but those videos of those hornets, uh, I don't remember their actual name, but uh, I, I've seen that. I saw that video years ago, of, like, you know, yeah. going in. And it's like 12 hornets. They go to honeybee thing and they're just chopping heads off yeah. left, right, just grabbing a hornet yeah. or a bee and just, ah, chuck them over here. <laughs> I don't even know what they were doing. It is like something out of like a fantasy movie where like the, the giant comes in and starts like ripping fucking heads off. Literally, he just like oh. chucks the body. <laughs> there was one where a solo hornet went into a fucking hive and ripped out the queen. That shit was mo as sick. I'm big on these hornets. They're huge. Like, they're they're huge. They get up to like two inches long. They're huge. Yeah. Like, like in comparison like to a bee, they're huge. And what, what's the scale? What's the rating for like pain? Uh, from getting like a bit or um, stung by something, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? It's, it's like a, it's like a being stabbed with multiple. Uh, it's the, the facts that are burned. Yeah, the That's hornets up there. What's his name? The guy he does all those fucking YouTube videos. That is pretty Ky- funny. Coyote him something. Bit? Yeah, yeah he, but he de- he got stung by one of those, and he said it was worse than the bullet ant, and it was up there like one of the worst things he ever ha- experienced. And was he's been the, bitten, stung by a lot of shit. Dude? Is it the same dude that got stung in the thigh? He had to like be rushed to the hospital. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is his shtick. Like he has YouTube videos of him specifically getting stung. Or like by, bit by, by a snapping turtle and like yeah. he Would does y'all all do kinds that? of shit. Get paid to get bit by shit. This, it depends on everybody's got a price. Yeah, well, yeah. Not, this guy has a huge YouTube channel. He does, yeah. And he also has a TV show on like uh yeah. like Nat Geo or something like that. I mean his name's somebody, Coyote something. Somebody, yeah. somebody should pay him to date Carol Baskins. <laughs> <laughs> the sardine oil boy. <laughs> I'm just curious. I would imagine that if you're about to get stung by like a hornet that's legitimately two inches long and you know it's going to be painful, like how much adrenaline is already coursing through your veins before you I don't know. Ask, ask, your, ask your ex-girlfriend, man. <laughs> I don't know. Point. Like imagine getting stung by one and it works like a pre-workout. I like it. I no, like there's, it. There's people in Japan who, who, uh, who drink the venom, apparently. Yeah, they always do shit. I mean, I this is uh, yeah. No, it's Asian people. Why are they always eating weird ass shit? Tiger like, penis. Too, oh, damn it! I went to Japan last May, and I went to this nice little spot. You know, I ordered my beef. I ordered some uh, some chicken. And this lady behind me, she looked cute as fuck, and she orders uh, what's called lightly seared raw chicken. They just take the raw oh, chicken. Oh, I've heard about yeah, that. And they sear it, and I'm just like, well, hold the fuck up! Like they're eating raw chicken. <laughs> Raw fucking chicken, and then she's biting into it. I was about to start swinging. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. like I'm Dominican. I put adobo on it. Shit. Yeah, 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 for sure. Eating it raw, and she's struggling to bite it with chopsticks. Yeah, I'm like, I was gonna say that the texture of chicken, raw chicken, is not edible. Yeah, I'm like, you wouldn't struggle if you just cooked your chicken. You know, you out there struggling with chopsticks. Is, you know, you I, do- I wonder if it's like different. You know, like how we raise them or something makes them so they have. People what, think yeah. so. People think so, but the the Japanese ministry made a statement saying, "Don't eat the raw chicken," because they can't do anything to stop it. 
is a lot of these. You so know, is it like considered a delicacy the way it's prepared, like not completely cooked? Is that the deal? Something like that. Well, there, it's, there, it's sashimi. There was a football player. <laughs> there's a Hall of Fame football player for the Niners named uh, Bob St. Clair. And they used to call him the freak because he would eat raw beef. Raw beef is safe, though. Yeah, you can eat raw beef. Yeah, if it's prepared properly. This was just like he's cooking and there's raw beef on the counter and he's just Wait, taking it out. How do you prepare no, raw beef? No, you could eat just straight up raw beef. You can just eat yeah. it. Yeah, not safe. prepared, but if it's like taken care of properly, is what I'm saying. Like oh, yeah. Stored yeah. properly. Yeah, and, like, it's yeah. the same thing with venison, too. Like, yeah, yeah. You, you can like prepare. I think you can eat as long as the animal you're eating raw is strictly a plant eater. I think you can eat all of those meats raw. I think that's I right. Think. Yeah. 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 I said, but, wow. Chicken, though. Come on. What are we doing here? What are we doing? That, that literally should be illegal. I mean, the, ja- Japan needs to switch that up. Well, a new virus they, is going to come. They also have, isn't it the blowfish uh, yeah. uh, sashimi or whatever, yeah. where you have to cut it properly, otherwise yeah. you die? Yeah. Yep. yeah the puffer. Cut it properly? Yeah, yeah puffer. Yeah. That's what, yeah. 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 And, and you need a license to prepare it, too. It can't be any shot. Dude, one true. fuck up. People yeah. fuck up all the time. Oh. Yeah, all the fucking time. They, they can't I, even cook my buffalo wild wings right. <laughs> <laughs> and all they're doing is throwing them in a fucking fryer. Yeah. I'd, I'd say a medium rare steak, and they give it to me well done and shit. I'm just like, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> you can never be a blowfish prepare. Yeah, you will never <laughs> ever cook a puffer fish. <laughs> Yo, speaking of the murder hornets, I saw a video the other day of a fucking crane mantis. Can oh yeah, I saw that video. It. Yeah, he was just eating its head. Yeah. I was like. They're what scary, man. Army? Why don't we just start an army? <laughs> man, this will be fine. I, I mean, it's it's kind of like uh, like putting wolves back in the in the in the you know wild to handle like overflow of whatever other animal. Yeah, like, let's just get you know, praying mantises yeah. out there. But then that's going to cause a new problem. They're going to get. Imagine a praying mantis that's ten feet fucking big, and it's coming down your hallway and just <laughs> just die, die, just grabbing <laughs> shit. He Scoop. takes your baby mama and chucks him out the window. I mean, Scoop is living <laughs> in Fallout Four right now. <laughs> you guys don't have to pay child support anymore. Right? I mean, yeah, win. it's his house now. I house. said it was a fantasy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, let's uh, let's roll, man. That's been an hour. That went by quick. Holy yeah, shit! Did. That was our normal hour, man. Lots of random shit to talk about, even though we're in quarantine. Well, well then we'll just do it again. Is that easy? Wait, you're in you're in New York, right? Well, me? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, I'm in Sacramento. Oh okay. So oh yeah, way close. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I was yeah. gonna, I was gonna ask you how the I was gonna ask you how the fucking the New York was faring right now, but and if you see uh, family out there, I hear what, like, they, what have they been saying I, as of late? It's bad. Really? Yeah. Every Damn. every day, it's like thousands and thousands of cases. Yeah. Fuck. Cases. They literally were finding bodies that were like stored in in like vans and shit like that. Yeah. Wait, is everybody here in California? Yeah. yeah. San Diego. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We're all in San Diego. That's what we said. When you get down here, we'll do Pacers in a live show. Oh, bro. like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I did see video of the drive-through strip club, and those guys are fucking. That's brilliant. How they it set it up. It's pretty fun. Brilliant, brilliant, it's absolutely brilliant, dude. Strip club. And, and it looks fun, man. They have yes, it's like barriers, I, yeah. and it, yep. it's, they they got uh, the stands, you know, whatever, with the pole and the stripper. You yep. just drive through oh, dude, slowly. You know what they need to do is, br- is bring back the peep shows with the glass doors. Yeah. Well, would you hey, imagine oh, like hey, getting the lap dance. Five. Oh, good. The blue ball. Like <laughs> you're gonna get blue balls anyway. Yeah, to strip club. Yeah, that's are true. you busting none I'll of the strip club? I'll let you go to Vegas. I don't know, man. That's true. That's true. I mean, you could get beat off in the back of a strip club. Hey, can you see yourself getting a, a lap dance and just on the hood of your car, just fucking twerking <laughs> and shit? Yeah, it's like, the, the, <laughs> it's like the Carl's Jr. video or commercial. Uh, imagine having a fucking Fiesta and you getting a, a fucking lap dance. Yeah, your do- <laughs> your Dodge fucking neon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Beast. So okay, where can they find you uh, on? Uh, they yeah. can find you on Twitch I'll, on, yeah. but yeah, where are your links? I'll put them all down in the description. But where can they find you? Oh me, uh, yeah. Twitch, Twitter, you know, even Pornhub. You can verify them. Let's have a porn star. Oh, man, I'm not, I'm, dog, I gotta eat, bro. I gotta be everywhere. I even made OnlyFans. That shit's free. I don't do nothing on there. But, like. And then it's just backup. It's just backup, you know, just in case. I've been suspended on Twitter like ten times, bro. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta migrate. I gotta <laughs> That's how it is, man. That's how it is. Social media life. <laughs> Even Facebook. You guys know how it is on Facebook. Oh yeah. I got, I got, I, got, I lost my Facebook at a million. Got it back the same week. Then lost it again. Then got it back. And I'm just like, yeah, this shit is temporary. 
Yeah, very temporary. Blockchain, yeah. baby. Blockchain. Yeah, yeah that, that's coming soon. Yep. Well, good shit, man. This was super fun. Let's do it again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we'll uh, we'll be. Thank yeah. you for having me. Bro. Oh, thanks for coming, dude. Seriously, yeah, thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, yeah, man. That was fun. Are we dropping the E? Uh, no, no E. Let's just roll. No E. No E. No E. No E. We're all here. What do you mean, no E? Not interested. <laughs> Fa- Father Scoop has spoken. Yeah. It's too late. Alright. Yeah, see you later. Thank you.